I think the real value of the correspondence dinner lies in having the president of the United States say something in public to the press about how valuable a free press is. And so I think when you have, a, have an event where it's an event celebrating the free press and simultaneously the most important person in the country is talking about how terrible the free press is or how terrible reporters are, your event no, – there's a weird cognitive dissonance that, that I think was already president – oh, sorry, not president. Maybe <laughs> both. Um, but th there's this cognitive dissonance that was present in the night before anybody started speaking. And I think it was even more strange because this year President Trump – wisely from a tactical perspective, sent his staff. So you had the staff being treated like they were very uh, important and that they were um, kind of par part of this civil society we've built together as, in, as the American people. And then you had the president actively tearing all that down at the same time. And I think Michelle Wolf's monologue basically said this whole thing is really dumb. Um, and I don't know whether – I don't I don't think it was terribly nuanced, but I think it was – I, I do think it was – she she made me realize just how absurd that moment was, and I'm, I'm glad she did. Um, so without going into every individual joke, I will say when it comes to jokes, um, Joel McHale talked about Nancy Pelosi and said she had had so much plastic surgery she couldn't move her face. This was in 2014. I did not see the conservative media uh, explode in outrage. So I do think there is um, – a, a strange and worrying double standard. Um, and I was happy to see progressives basically say, you know, we can be for decency and we can be for civility, um, but then we should apply that equally to everybody. Um, and also I was happy to see people say, if you're not going to spend every single day saying, how do we confront the fact that we have a president who brags about sexually assaulting women or says that he wouldn't sexually assault other women because they were too ugly for him to assault, are we really going to get worked up over a comedian? Um, and so I do think that was, I was happy to see people push back on that, um, which is a long way of saying I, uh, you know, I, it was a it was a very aggressive performance, but I'm glad she did it. I think in some ways it was really necessary.